Me fambule on a show. Today, we share a sad, but a story I believe you could learn from at the end of this video. We have not been uploading for the past two weeks, not because we lack content, but we mourn the deaths of our brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, and children who lost their lives in the tanker explosion. They left their beautiful homes with a smile and with a promise to return back home. They left healthy and strong, positive and hopeful, but their families did not see them again. The fire accident happened on the 5th of November on Friday, which happened by the 9 o'clock, caused by one tanker and one tipper. One tanker, they try for cross middle of this road. As they try for approach the speed lane, then the tipper come hit them. They all of the sudden fear boss. Then people them come around, even with the driver, they say that this year is dangerous, but people them come around and begin first this um, field. Then we time 45 minutes to get into um, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. We see all of the sudden a blast. Among them were children whose only crime was to sit by their parents on that day. Young Okada riders whose only crime was to fend for themselves. Hawkers whose only crime was to fend for what they could put on the table the next day. Pedestrians whose only crime were to walk along the streets, heading home or to buy something from the junction. This is the power of God. We need not to ask questions. We need not to blame the debt. We need not. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, the government needs to pass a law preventing tankers from playing the streets during the day or early in the night. Perhaps midnight is better. Who knows? Will that prevent such events from happening again? Well, what is your opinion? Because we, or we wish that this could not repeat itself again. Maybe our people need to be sensitized that when these things happen, they should avoid, they should prevent themselves from going there. They shouldn't go closer. Who knows? But we pray that those who lost their lives, may they rest in peace. And we pray that such doesn't repeat itself again. And we hope we all will learn from this. This has not been a regular story. But this has really touched us, the Sedinke family. This is brought to you in partnership with Saloon Messenger, a global multimedia and public relations firm based in Sierra Leone. And for sure, we are starting to upload again. Thank you very much for watching this video and let's share if you learn from it and so other people can learn from it. Thank you very much. And again, it's me, Sedinke.